Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And um, this time around, this is going to be a little bit, this is going to be kind of rushed. Um, I kind of fell behind, I'll, I'll explain why here later. So, there wasn't a whole lot of thought or effort put into this. So, this is going to be kind of a, kind of a scatterbrain cast. And um, the music, this is going to be, this is going to be Furfur, uh, the Tower of Doom. I think this came out, if not a, if not yesterday, it just came out like a few a few days ago. So just some more uh, Dungeons and Dragons synth. Let me uh, sound test it real quick. Okay, but um, but yeah, one of the one of the reasons why I felt why I kind of fell behind is um, uh, I was actually uh, I was actually trying to put together a, a tier list, and I was actually trying to record a video about it, but as you can kind of see here, I kind of bit off more than I could chew. That is a lot. So, but um, after about an hour or so in, um, I I wasn't even halfway done. Like, if I was to continue on, it would have literally been a two-hour video. So, yeah, I end up having a I end up having to abandon the project. So, but um, what I am thinking of doing now. Uh, Sunday, or I should say today, um, there's not gonna, there's probably not gonna be a stream. Um, I have a, I got a family thing I gotta go to in the afternoon. Now, if I come back early enough, though, what I might do is I might actually try, uh, I might actually stream me, stream putting together this tier list. But, uh, so I don't, I don't think that's something I've ever done before. I've seen, um, I've seen other people do it. You know, like they'll, they'll stream themselves, they'll you know, put the tier list together. But uh, I've never done it personally, so I figured, well, I guess it'd be a first time for everything. But again, this all hinges on whether, whether or not I, I actually get back home soon enough. Like I said, I don't know how long the shindig's gonna last. Oh, well, I gotta. I'm taking a drink of Arizona green tea. Hold on. So yeah, but yeah, if I can get out, if I can get back soon enough, I might actually uh, stream me uh, putting a tier list together. Yeah, because, um, because I am beginning to burn out on Dragon Ball Fighters. And I already messed up. Fix that. There we go. But yeah, like I said, I am I am beginning to burn out on Dragon Ball Fighters. It's to where I'm pretty much only doing story mode now. Just trying to unlock cutscenes. Yeah, I'm uh, I don't know, I don't know what else I have lined up, or what other games I want to play. But um, I think uh, I am starting to become. But uh, I am. My interest in the game is starting to wane, so. Which means I'm probably gonna have to look into something else. And then, um, one, and then one other thing. This is probably the big meat of the meat of the cast right here. Um, I talked to a guy named Jake Ryan about this like a few days ago, but uh, I'm gonna. 
It's I'm gonna try to go on another diet. No. You know, gonna try to lose some weight. I haven't weighed myself um I haven't weighed myself recently, but I'm pretty sure I'm back to square one. Um for those that don't know, um a few years ago there was that there was actually a long and involved and involved reason on this. But um I just got tired of weighing two hundred and ten. So over the course of about two years, I got my weight down to um to 140 and I need to stop here a moment I gotta look at some oh this is that one with the um with the wolf in the background so one thing I Okay, but anyway, um, but yeah, like I said, um, I'm gonna try losing weight again, because like I said, I don't, I haven't weighed myself, but I'm pretty sure I'm back to square one, I'm probably back to weighing 210 again, so, but, but this time around, I'm probably gonna have to take it even slower. Last time I tried doing this, it was just full of pitfalls, full of mistakes. Um, just because, like I said, it took me about two years. It took me about two years to get it down to 140. So, and it wasn't a, it wasn't smooth weight loss. It was, oh god, what? There, there was a technical term for it. It wasn't yo-yoing. But it, it was really, um, it was real spiky. Like, you know, I managed to lose a little bit of weight, but end up getting a good chunk of it back, because, you know, hunger and addiction, that was the other thing. So, um, I'm, I'm trying, I'm wanting to do this, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to do this while still dealing with the junk food addiction. It probably got worse from the uh, last time I attempted it, but again, I gotta do something. But, but yeah, so if you catch me on stream, or for those that have seen me stream a while, yes, I'm starting to eat different stuff now. Um, what I'm thinking now is, at the very, very least, not have any junk food at home. Like, especially, uh, I had a, I had peanut butter m and I had a, I often had a big old bag of it, and I would eat like a whole bunch of it, like once or twice a day. So and I tried. I did manage to. Uh, yesterday, yesterday I pulled it off. No. Or I kind of pulled it off. Um. I'll I'll probably have to. Yeah, I'll probably have to show this.
But um, they they sell these at my store. Like I said, there wasn't, there was next to no preparation on this. Yeah, it, they're uh, peanut butter, like chocolate peanut butter or uh, crispy bars. But yeah, they sell, they sell them at my work. Um, I've managed to get, I managed to only have one of those a day but now the problem is is I'm starting to eat more of other stuff so but I in case I didn't mention it that this is gonna be a very long work in progress because I'm also trying to avoid making the mistakes I made you know that I made the last time and um and already um Last night, um, and then yesterday, I was already messing up. But like I said, it's it's gonna take a while. But so this is gonna be a it's gonna be a long term plan. Oh, and um, and in case anyone was to ask, it's you just don't have the willpower, Joel. You just need discipline. That's where I work. And um, special bonus points if you can get a if you can get a job in the bakery or the candy department. You know. You know, you know, go go for that. So. So yeah, it it's just something that pops into my head from time to time. Whatever I'm trying to lose weight, same as uh, same as last time I was trying to do this. You know the, the words uh. Discipline and willpower often got often get off thrown Willpower and discipline often get you know tossed out there, too. I mean, it's it's easy It's, it's easy. It's easy to say that kind of stuff when you're not in the kind of environment that I'm in you know, Or if you're if you're if say If you're a personal trainer, I mean being fit as a fiddle is kind of part of your job so I mean, yeah, you got you got a pretty strong incentive to you got a pretty strong incentive to you know keep in shape because your job depends on it. You know they ain't got to deal with the junk food you know right in front of you, like every day. In fact, now that I remember, I think a lot of my weight loss came from like the first month or two. Because that's what I was... I know I can do this. Yeah! I can do it. Yeah! Yeah, I'm losing the weight. Fuck yeah! You know? And then that... But after a while, though... The old, uh... The old discipline started to slip. I mean... You gotta... I mean, I'm there every day. It's all looking at... It's all... You know, it's all staring at me every day. So... I mean, it, Again, it's... It's easy... I mean... It's easy to preach willpower and discipline when you're not in the kind of environment that I'm in. That's why I'm very big on, I'm big on lifestyle, I'm, you know, your lifestyle and your environment trumps your willpower and discipline because you can't maintain that forever. I mean, hell, even, um, I mean, hell, even David Goggins, the, uh, the legendary uh, ultra marathon runner, he, um, he tried to do a 100 mile, tried doing a 100 mile marathon while weighing 300 pounds. I think he got as far as like 80 or so miles in and then he literally collapsed. Like he, he could not go anymore. But he ended up uh, severely fucking up his body in the process though. Like his feet were all, me his, his feet are all messed up, all tore up. But you, you kind of get the idea though. So that's, you know, so that's kind of what I'm getting at. So, but any, anyway, like, 
anyway, to kind of reiterate what I'm, what I was saying is, um, a, a diet is in the works, or actually, let me rephrase that. My, um, uh, how can I put it? My nutritional lifestyle is undergoing a sea change right now. I don't want to say diet because I'm actually with the uh, athlete and ex-guy. I forgot his name. Jeff Cavalier. He's kind of said the same thing too. He he just hates the word diet because the implication is like when you say you're going to go on a diet, it's implied that you're going to come off that diet. So I think he said it too. Whatever, uh, whatever, you, choo- whatever you choose has to be a lifestyle. You got to be able to maintain it for years. Possibly even your whole life. Not just... On a, not just a quick temporary basis. He was complaining about that too. A lot of people are looking for these quick fixes. You know, the quick fix to washboard abs and that kind of thing. You know, when really it's, it has to be, you have to be able to maintain it for life. So, whereas in my case, there's a lot of landmines I have to, there's a lot of landmines I have to avoid. And I've already stepped over a few of them. I mean, I hadn't even started on it, you know, maybe half a week. And like I said, I've already um, stepped on a few mines, tripped over a few trip wires and stuff. So, but it's, it's starting to come, it's starting to come into place. Like I said, at my work, I have pulled it off, or I should say, I have come close to pulling it off. Um, just having like that one, one peanut butter rice crispy bar every day. But like, but also like I said too, it uh, I've also started to eat more other stuff. Cause I'm also, I'm also trying to avoid stuff like bread. I mean, bread's not. I mean, white bread is pretty bad for you. Um, but whole wheat bread, especially whole grain, especially whole grain bread, is. Ideal. It's not. It's not the best for you, but it's um. Uh, it's far from the worst, though. Um, I was. I'm actually wanting to cut that out as well. But like I said, I love me some whole wheat bread, though. Um, actually, let me. Let me find it here real quick. Okay, I think I deleted it. So let me. Pull this up. Um, one of the one of the best books I've ever read. It's almost my Bible. time favorite books eat drink and be merry um his name's dean adele he's a legendary doctor he had his own radio he had his own talk radio program for some odd years but yeah he was one of those that um the the short answer the short answer on him is uh eat whatever the hell you want just not so much of it and it was that was it, and it is a practice that I, for the most part, maintain to this day. I don't, I don't eat three big square meals a day. I usually eat a little something every uh, two or three hours. You know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's less stressful on your body if you just eat like a bunch of little small meals several times throughout the day, rather than having like three big, huge, massive ones. Because he was kind of saying the same thing, same thing that I've been thinking too. It just, you're actually kind of overtaxing your body, just cramming all that food in your mouth. So, I mean, a lot of times he wasn't he uh, 
he wasn't even bringing up like diabetes, heart attack, or anything, you know, heart disease and that kind of thing. But uh, he, I think he also said in there that um, he did he did it he didn't did outright say that cancer, heart disease, you know, obesity and stuff like that is all just is all just a is all just a lie or it's all just a myth or it's all overblown, etc. Um, but he ba he basically said there's more to it than just it, there's more to it than just what you're eating. You know, I mean, you know, genetics and lots of other factors also play into that. But I, I don't, I don't know exact details, but he, basically he's saying health and fitness is a lot more than just whether or not you have washboard abs. You know, there's more to it than whether or not you eat KFC. You know, there's, there's also mental health as well, so... You know, he's basically saying that there's a lot of moving parts in your life. You know, that factor into health and fitness, not just, again, not just whether or not you eat junk food. So it's not cut and dried like that. So. But I guess, as kind of a recap, um, embarking on a little weight, another weight loss journey, but this time, I'm definitely going to be taking my time on it. But it is, it is something I'm working towards. I'm going to take another drink here. So, like I said, it's going to be a very long-term pro. It's going to be a very long-term project. I mean, just trying to trying to remember and learn from my mistakes the last time I did this and trying to avoid making those again. So because of that, it's probably going to be an even more long-term campaign. Uh, but otherwise, I, I think that's it. Hell, I <laughs> hell I wasn't expecting it the last 22 minutes. I was expecting it to last maybe, if I'm lucky, 15 minutes. I was expecting it to just be like a quick 10-minute cast, but no. No, I actually uh, thought of something to talk about. But but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And once again, um, once again, um, I got a family thing I got to go to in the afternoon, so there's a good chance that there's probably not going to be a stream today. Um, if, if I do, if I do manage to get back early enough, then I'll probably work, I'll probably just stream me, make it a pinball tier list. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by everybody and see you all next time. Bye for now.